Hi, I'm Jeff Arnold of Cisco, and I've got a short presentation on the subject of Cloud Services Federation. Um, so, I, I've got a lot of slides to get through in 12 minutes, and I'm going to move through quite, quite quickly. The slides are on the, on the web, and uh, as is the, the presentation. Um, so, back in the early days of cloud computing, it, there was a whole bunch of excitement around the things we could do once we have all these clouds, clouds of clouds, uh, people were talking about cloud bursting, cloud federation, cloud brokers, cloud resale, and after about 18 months of intense discussion, that conversation all stopped because we, people realized we didn't have the technology to actually implement any of that. And what's happened uh, over the last few years is that both, you know, the technology has, has started to uh, get to where we need it to be, and the, uh, the business requirements are starting to emerge and the, uh, the applications are starting to emerge. And there's, there are, there's an increased interest in these kind of business problems. You know, how, we do, how do we do resale? How do we do cloud bursting? How do cloud service providers peer with each other? And this leads to a bunch of uh, roles and user stories and use cases. And uh, this is, you know, I, these are fairly obvious roles, service provider, service consumer, and service reseller. There are others. I'm at Cisco. Cisco is involved in uh, OpenStack because it's a critical part of our cloud services business. And we're interested in this particular uh, aspect of, cl of cloud services because um, our business model is a heavily federated, heavily partner-driven um, model. And we're working with a lot of partners around the world to provide cloud services to them and for the, to allow them to resell and to uh, federate cloud services in ways that uh, address a bunch of different business opportunities. Um, the bottom line, though, is that we are an OpenStack cloud service provider. The value proposition to our customers is that we are a, a, a absolutely 100% compliant uh, solution. And so we've got to figure out how to do federation while maintaining OpenStack uh, compatibility. So we need, to, you know, we need a uniform uh, consumer interface. We need to make sure that we don't change the user experience radically when people move from a simple OpenStack cloud to a more heavily federated pattern. Um, we need to make sure that the right people are in, in control of the right things. So that the, if you're a reseller, you want to control the identity management for your customers. You don't want to have to delegate that to the cloud service provider. Uh, we don't want providers to have to go through a, dis a disruptive change to their clouds in order to become suppliers into this kind of uh, ecosystem. So we'd like to make that a very minimal change. The natural unit of resale of uh, federation in this world uh, is an OpenStack region. And that's because most of the OpenStack services that we work with are sort of localized. They have their namespaces constrained by an OpenStack region. And uh, so what we're looking at here is, uh, is the, the in, to introduce the, the notion of a virtual region. A virtual region is a collection of OpenStack resources um, which behaves to the consumer just like a full-blown region. But in reality, it's something which the cloud service provider has assembled to deliver to that particular uh, consumer. And there are two pieces of technology that we're introducing, we're working on. I'll talk about the project in a few minutes. Two pieces of technology that, uh, that make this one possible. The first is what we think of as a publisher or a merchant of cloud services. This, you add this service to an OpenStack cloud, and it allows you to define and publish resources to potential consumers. And then the second piece is a, a subscriber or broker piece, which, will, which allows you to discover available cloud service providers, discover available resources and virtual regions, and then bind them into your cloud so that they look seamlessly, it looks seamlessly like, like one of your regions. And the, you know, the, the, there's a fa I'll run through a, a couple of pictures on how that looks. This is the picture we're normally used to with the user interacting with a cloud service provider. And that cloud service provider may have multiple regions uh, within their, within their Control. It's a CSP is the, the, the scope of control, and the, the, all of that, all of those systems are configured by a single uh, entity. But a user may want to interact with a second cloud service provider, uh, and a 
cloud service provider may want to use resources from another, another uh, provider. Um, this is a typical kind of peering arrangement, very common in, various, in, in the telco world and so forth. Um, so you'd like to be able, cloud service provider A would like to be able to expose region B1 as well as its own regions A1 and A2. Setting that up is non-trivial because um, coordination, namespaces, configuration of IDM, and there's a whole bunch of stuff which is out of scope for OpenStack, which also needs to be dealt with, like the operational systems and the business systems, billing, et cetera, et cetera. So what we do is we introduce these two components, um, M sub, the subscriber side, and M pub, the publisher side, and these two work together to define available virtual regions, to publish them, and then to consume them. Now, if you have that kind of model, actually, you can become a reseller without actually having a cloud of your own. And so here we have a, thing, a cloud service provider C, which, who actually doesn't have any local, local regions of their own. But that's OK. They can consume, they can discover regions available from uh, virtual regions from cloud service provider A and B and publish them to their users as, as though they were local regions of, the, of, uh, of, the, uh, of cloud service provider Cs. So, the goal here is to be able to enable a pure reseller or pure broker model, and obviously some end users, large end users, will, be want, to, will want to use this kind of pattern to, the, to support their um, uh, consumption of cloud services. We are about to launch a Stackforge project, uh, code name so far is Mercador, uh, which is the po Portuguese for merchant. Um, and uh, to build these services. And we want to do it in, in Stackforge so that we can build on without disrupting the work that's been done in uh, Keystone and, uh, and other parts of, uh, of OpenStack over the, the last cycle. We will, we will build on the hierarchical multi-tenancy work. We'll build on the Keystone to Keystone uh, authentication work. It's going to require work in other OpenStack projects, of course. Uh, we, we introduced hierarchical multi-tenancy in Kilo but most of the rest of OpenStack is not yet HMT aware. And so we're going to need to work on hierarchical quotas in Nova and aggregated queries in Solometer. And obviously <laughs> Horizon is going to have to adapt to present these, uh, these views to the, uh, to the end users. One of our goals is, a is that a reseller should be able to pass RefStack. That's going to be an interesting challenge. Um, we have an ephemeral uh, relationship between the, the reseller and the, pro the providers. Is that going to meet the needs of uh, a ref stack for compliance? That's going to be an interesting discussion to be had to have. So that's what we're working on. We will be look we've got a lot of, uh, done a lot of work at this summit on talking to the various uh, uh, projects that we're going to interact with and depend upon. Got a lot of po very positive feedback. Uh, if you're interested in getting involved in this, stay tuned. Uh, look at the uh, um, look at the, the developer mailing list for the announcement of the, uh, of the of the project, and sign up and get involved. And uh, it's w the objective is to finish this by uh, by Tokyo, and so we can demonstrate it at the next summit. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm Jeff at jeffarnold.com, um, and uh, thank you for listening. <laughs>